How healthy is the pageant world and the post Me Too world? How has it changed? It has changed because it has given us a opportunity to speak to the Me Too movement. Um, there was a segment on it from women at even just Miss USA that had been impacted specifically. I am very fortunate to not have a Me Too story personally, but one of my best friends was with North Carolina, and she even spoke about it during her top three question um, about her sexual assault. And so it was an opportunity now that that door is opened and comfortable and encouraged to speak about it. It doesn't have to be a secret anymore. And that's a way that some of those women bonded at Miss USA as well, and by sharing their stories and then encouraging other people through either whether it was her on-stage question to millions on the couch at home watching or on social media for some. Um, it has changed quite drastically, but it's a very healthy environment. One of my Miss USA sisters even came up to the point that when she was sexually harassed, it was in the workplace, in an office building. She's not sexually harassed in a gown or at what have you, in a competition. Um, and that was a very strong point of hers. It's not even just USA Gymnastics in the pageant world and modeling, it's, it's everything. It's film, it's at the finance office that you work at in Iowa, it's everywhere that we've seen, seen change and that's what has needed to happen and I'm proud to be a woman in this generation. Specifically, if you're going to a women's rights march, a right for like the women's march, like mm -hmm. say that was happening, what would you put on the sign if you were going to the women's march? Community over comparison is what I would say. One of my message points that I really like to stress when I speak to groups of women is that comparison is, yes, it's the thief of joy, but if you compare yourself to someone on the street and you feel inferior to them, that's not supportive, that's not life-giving. And if you compare yourself to someone on the street and you feel superior to them, that's not what we're called to do either. So neither are good, it's a waste of energy, no one's story is exactly the same. With social media, we have to remind ourselves, and others, you can use it for good, um, whether that's encouragements or, I mean, even sharing things that aren't necessarily on your highlight reel, per se. And as Miss USA, of course, my life has taken this extravagant turn, and I try to remind myself of that as well, as are my followers, am I uplifting them with this post, or am I not? And then I clearly would not do that.